It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL on this fine afternoon brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland at m and Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on their Beltway rivals, the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. It's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And a short pickup to about the 25. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 25, here's second and six. Now it's Jackson. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Jackson looking to throw on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So here's Washington now in excellent field position to start things out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a first carry here, and now a fumble. The ball's out, and it looks like one of the DBs has it, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. 
And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out and for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is converted. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Back to throw. Daniels. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Now a second and ten. To throw again, Daniels. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Washington. Byron Pringle. 29 yards. And the Commanders are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Now Jackson slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. 
They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. How about 25 yards on third down. They'll take it. Every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Holding offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. After the penalty, it's Henry. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and six now from the 26. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Ravens first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throw caught by Flowers. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Throwing is Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Again, Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Here's Jackson. Being chased out left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven.20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Hamilton running up from his safety spot and earning the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deontay Hardy back deep. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Ravens will take over. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Just need a yard here, second and one. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this down to the 35-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
A handoff running left. Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Here's second and ten. On the draw, here's Mitchell. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. He's a game of five. Brings up third and five. Here is third and five. Jackson now. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, it would be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball. That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. A first down carry for Henry. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10 yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So, not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Andrews. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Inside handoff, Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Here's Jackson to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Field goal set to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. 
And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They go play action here on first down. They throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he completes this one to Terry McClellan. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 64 yards. And the Commanders have retaken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point try now for Patterson. And that makes it 14-10. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. And Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it as we resume action. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, he'd had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. A shotgun handoff to Henry, and his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On the option right is Jackson. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38 yard line. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, 
most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the gun on third down, Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 21. 16 yards on that one and a Raven first. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Oh, man, just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. They'll try to run for it with Henry. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So Jackson will head to the Ravens sideline and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. Tucker's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close and give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate 
keep him right in his zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate him. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 15 yards the pickup, first down Washington. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first and 10, it's Robinson. Down to about the 45. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down at six. Eckler now between the tackles. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 20-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down. Daniels. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And the commanders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. Looking to throw. Daniels. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Byron Pringle with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. 
but you gotta like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the 28, it's second and five. Again, it's Henry. The strong running. <laughs> Still fighting. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 50 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. But there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A shotgun hand off to Mitchell. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. What an advantage having a elite guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. On third down, Jackson. Receiver and he's brought down. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleveland Thurl, that got in there to bring him down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. To throw on second down, Daniels sets up the screen to Robinson. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled them a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost, and then a little bit more. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Back to throw. Daniels. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Take over first and ten. 
Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. They begin with Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run it again with Henry. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Jackson. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to hit the football back again. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 46-yard line. Looking to throw. Daniels. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it'll bring up third down. Operating from the gun. Daniels. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Jackson on first down. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. To throw is Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. <laughs> that guy kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size 
can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. And he will have a first down here as they get in the field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw again is Jackson. And he's got it. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And this is now a one-point game. So that drive span five plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. touchdown taking it about the one and he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19 one final possession for the commanders in this opening half and the ball backed way up so thinking with this amount of time on the clock probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead, finish up the half, and get on out and talk about it. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach.